Hello everyone. Today we're gonna tie this. This is probably one of the most iconic salmon and sea trout flies ever made. This was the first fly ever to be patented, which meant that, of course, you were allowed to tie this on your own. But if you were to buy these, then you should you could only buy them officially from 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 one uh, one manufacturer of, of of flies. So it's it's a fairly simple fly. Uh, this sunray shadow, but for some reason this this long slim um, way of tying just has the magical magical effect on uh, on sea trouts and and salmon. I've used this a lot in Norway. I've used it in Kola as well, uh, and in Iceland, and uh, and also I've used this a lot for night fishing for for sea trouts. Um, I have three different uh, variations of this. I have a small one that is six to eight centimeters long, and where I make the wing from uh, from. Uh, from Marble Fox, and then I have a longer version, which is about 10 to 14 centimeters. This is probably the size that I use the most. And then finally, I have some really, really big ones for the early fishing in uh, for the early fishing in the uh, in in Norway and and for the biggest of sea trouts uh, in in night fishing in 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 larger rivers. So you can you can see the difference here in size, six to eight centimeters. 10 to 14 and then just above 14 centimeters um, as i said it's a fairly simple fly but it's it's probably one of the flies that has the most fish on its conscience of all patterns so i did a video about this a long time ago and um, now i've upgraded my camera equipment and and stuff so i think it was time to to redo this because this fly definitely definitely deserves to have a, an updated video because it's just an awesome awesome fly um as I said, fairly easy to tie. Um, and well, basically, let's get started. Let's tie some sunray shadows. You need this one in your box. So now we're going to tie the fly. For this fly, you can use a clear tube or you can use a tube that has kind of gives the fly a body effect. Uh, that's what I've done with this one. I've used the Pro Classic tube in clear with some... Uh, added some some glitter and I, and I think this this gives a, a, a this adds a nice effect to 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 my to my sun rays so I'm gonna melt down the tube here in the front and then I have done so and then a small amount in the back to make sure that the the fly here is uh, is uh, that that the tube here doesn't have any grates so it will not cut into uh, into my my leader then I make all the way up here towards the uh, the front of the fly, I make a sound um, layer of tying thread to have some si something for the uh, for the goat hairs to latch onto. The goat hair is quite slick, and uh, and quite smooth. And uh, and if you if you if, if you're not careful, then you will you will lose some of the uh, some of the goat hairs if you don't tie this correctly. So now I'm going to take the white goat hairs. Um, and the quality of goat hair is is important. You need to get something that is as long as you can get your hands on, uh, so you have the ability to tie the biggest one as well. This is actually way way too long for 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 this uh, medium sized one, the fourteen centimeters one that I'm doing now. So I'm pulling out all the all the the shortest hairs and then also some of the longest ones. Then I place the white uh, wing here on top of the tube. And then I use three or four turns of my tying thread to fasten it and to secure it. Then I cut away the uh, then I cut away the leftover hairs, and then to ensure that these slick slick hairs they stay in place, I'm gonna add a small amount of sabre gap on top here. This will give this fly a way way better performance, and this will make the fly a lot lot more durable. There we go. Now I'm going to take my flesh, and for this I'm going to use crystal flesh. Not that many, maybe five strands or something along those lines, depending on how, how big and uh, your fly is. But the, the most important thing uh, regarding the tapering of this is do not use too much material. It's, it's, a, it's a long, very slim profiled fly, and that's what, what it has going, uh, why this is so effective. So you should take care not to to heap on too much material because that will basically uh, make the fly uh, less good. It's not a bulky fly, it's a really slim but uh, but long fly. So 
With that added, then we're gonna take the black one, say uh, the black goat. And we have some superb, superb quality goat in uh, at Nordic Anglers. So if if you're in need of uh, of that, then please swing by and uh, and get some. I, I'm, the the quality is really, really awesome. So I'm gonna take the black goat now. Make sure when you cut off the goat from your from your piece of uh, of leather here that you call, cut all the way down to the actual leather, so you don't have any half hairs. Uh, messing up your your future wings again i'm pulling away all of this this would actually be a fairly nice wing for for a lot of other flies but um but for this we need the longest hairs make sure that your your black wing is a bit is a bit more bulky than your white one um, and then i'm gonna pull off there was a bit more of this woolly part here that i was going that i removed and then the black wing should be slightly longer than the white one. So slightly longer so that the wing tapers. I'm going to attach this again on top of the fly here. Apply some tying thread, some pressure. Oh, this is looking so good. <laughs> and then again, be careful to cut away the hairs. Uh, as you can see, I have room here uh, to cut away the hairs before the wing is, is done. And then again, to make sure that my, my goat stays in place, I'm going to add a small quantity of savagap. Just to get the hairs to latch on together and to make them stay in the right place. Then I add a bit more tying thread. So that the uh, the saber gap goes into into the fibers and is 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 nice and well added to the uh, to the actual fly. And then the finishing touches to add uh, some uh, some uh, some peacock curls. And I think this size I use oh that was a bit more than four, uh, about four peacock curls and uh, and I use a smaller amount for the uh, for the sh for the shorter flies and maybe five is is perfect for the for the big ones. There's five here. I'm going to remove one of these, I think. This one is not as pretty as the other ones. So that is the one that did not make the cut. And then basically I place these four on top of the rest of the fly. There we go. I'm going to cut away the leftover here. And then basically just build the head. Make the give the head the the shape that you need it to have. There we go. And uh, all of these materials will will look so vivid and so lively in the water, as you saw in in the in the the video from the from the fly tester, and uh, and well basically simple but deadly deadly deadly. I'm gonna do a whip finish here. tighten cut away and finally if you want you can apply of course uh, a, a lot of varnish three or four uh, coatings of varnish to to ensure that the head is nice and shiny i just do like this i just add a small amount of sabagab again because that is the most durable way of doing this and this will make my fly last and last and last and last. And well, basically, there you have it. The Sunray Shadow, as I said, you can you can adapt this uh, this pattern uh, in any way you like, in any size you like. But the thing that this fly really has going for it is its slim profile and, uh, and the fact that it's long. So do not be afraid of tying this really, really long. I mean, these these really, really big ones, as you can see here, is way, way longer um is 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 deadly deadly flies for fishing for for sea trout in the in the danish night i often do like this uh, because the sea trouts have a tendency to 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 nibble at the end of uh, of this fly and and if you have the the tube all the way back here you'll not catch as many so so for the the night fishing for sea trout the salmons won't do that the salmons will just slam this and just grab this but for the sea trout i sometimes extend the tube 
uh, with, with a thinner, with a 2.2 millimeter thinner inner tube to get my hook further down. But if you do like this, then you'll you'll have to take care that the hook you're using is, is fairly light because otherwise the fly will hang strangely in the water. So, uh, especially if the water pressure is not that big. So so if you do this, then use perhaps a single hook and, and a light hook at that. Uh, but but for the Danish, uh, Danish sea trouts, I, I often fish them like this. But for the salmon, uh, there is no need. There's really no need. So, as always, uh, thank you a lot for watching. Uh, you can get uh, the full material kit for this fly by clicking uh, on the some of the links here uh, attached to, to the video. Um, otherwise, if you haven't done so already, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to the channel. Um, well, I guess there's nothing left to say, but knegger brak, uh, as we say in Denmark, for, for good luck fishing. So good luck out on the water. Thank you for watching.